Weeks after the ban on 22 social networking sites in Indian-controlled Kashmir, two United Nations human rights experts have urged India to revoke the ban. David Kai and Michael Frost from the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights have described the measure a collective punishment on the people of the disputed region. The two said in a statement that these restrictions have disproportionate impact on the fundamental rights of people in Kashmir, undermining the government's stated aim of preventing dissemination of information that could lead to violence. Although the United Nations has declared Internet access a human right, India has time and again infringed this right of people in Kashmir. It's a clear-cut indication that they want to filter information. They don't want the realities uh, of Kashmir uh, to be known to the world, especially what their military is doing here. So it is a condemnable act, and it's completely clear now that Kashmir um, is, is, is a military state. I mean, our voices are being scuttled, facts are being uh, scuttled, and it's an open aggression on part of the so-called Indian democracy. Internet services in Kashmir were suspended last month after widespread protests by students over an army raid in a college in southern Kashmir. Later, the internet services were restored. However, the government capped 22 social networking sites, claiming these sites were being misused by antisocial elements. Despite the suspension of social networking sites, the students' protests are swelling. Did you see any weapon in our hands? We are students, and government forces are using pallets, bullets. <laughs> where on earth have you seen a student protest be dealt with force? It only happens in Kashmir, where killings of civilians go unpunished. Our friends are hospitalized because New Delhi does not want our voices to be heard. Besides seeking freedom of expression for the people of Kashmir, the two UN experts have urged India to resolve the ongoing conflict in the region through transparent and democratic dialogue. Political commentators, however, see such calls by often falling with deaf ears in India. Shanabat, Press TV, Indian Controls, Kashmir.